Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Victor and I help people navigate their ascension process. And today I'm going to discuss a very common situation that I would suspect every single one of you will encounter uh, repeatedly throughout your entire awakening journey. And that is the experience of feeling stuck in old energy. Stuck in a situation, relationship, place, etc., where the energy is no longer a match for your current, now increased vibrational frequency. And it can be a little bit unsettling to dwell and feel stuck, unable to move out of an energy that is not compatible. Because like any non-compatible energies, there's dissonance. And the way you experience this dissonance is through heavy, uncomfortable emotions. You can feel uh, like just constricted. You can feel like the energy is just too dense because your vibration is higher and refined. You want to be kind of free and floaty and airy. And you're like wedging yourself into this like denser realm, which is like your current situation. And it's just like very heavy. And again, it's restrictive. And you can feel it like that. And not only that, but you'll, you'll cause disruptions. You wonder why people complain about with, uh, when they're awakening, their electronics always going haywire. Well, there's a, there's a big time difference in the vibrational frequency to you, a, a human spirit and a freaking man-made computer. So you're always causing shit to go haywire, random little malfunctions. Well, you can experience that same manifestation in an entire situation where you live. And it's unnerving because you can sense very clearly, not only based on the energy, your perception of the energy, which you'll be able to know what I'm talking about, you'll be able to perceive that you're in a, an, an energy area field that isn't compatible, and that'll be a little bit unsettling, but also, again, because you create disturbances. For an example, the reason I bring this up, and I suspect I'm not alone here, but I'll give you my own situation here. A lot of you guys know, I keep talking about it. I'm gonna be moving soon. I'm gonna be moving out of my house, right? And right now, my house, th this whole area where I live is just becoming more and more and more uncomfortable to be in. But selling a house, of course, requires a bit of time and a lot of, a lot of stuff has to happen for, for you just to kind of pick up and move. So presently, I'm stuck here. I'm stuck in a very incompatible energy. And how does this even happen? Why do we get stuck here in the first place? I'll tell you why. It's pretty, this is my own conclusion that I suspect you'll relate with. It's just commonsensical to me. It takes a certain threshold of negative experiences, of contrast, before we even recognize that we are, that it is time to move on, however, whatever that means to you. And by the time you, you realize that, you experience that threshold of having enough negative experiences to where it's like, okay, I need to move on. By that time, you're already in an incompatible energy, which is why you've had those negative experiences to begin with. And because we're in the earth plane, and sometimes it's not as easy as just instantly vibrating out of a present situation, it takes time, like moving out of a house, changing careers. You might need to find a job and, and line up a job and, and save some money or you know a lot of different things. Or if you're in a relationship, you know that you gotta kinda sit with it for a while, but you wanna really make sure you know what you're gonna do and not gonna make a mistake. And it can take some time to decide that to where you feel very solid. And the way you feel really solid in that situation is when you have enough is enough kind of thing. Um, so anyway, but the point of this video is because in the past when this would happen, because I've experienced this even with moving out of a house, I've experienced this several times where the house starts going nuts on me, just literally breaking down um, the most random things will occur. And that's just a good metaphor because you, you can experience that with a car, a relationship, a job, you know, things will just, you will start to attract physical manifestations of this energetic dissonance which can be experienced as problems and issues, and oh my God, this is getting freaking chaotic being here. But that's just to say it's time to go, man, and you're just experiencing the energetic repercussions of two incompatible uh, vibrational frequencies, and that's all. And there's nev it's never urgent, it's never like, it can feel urgent, it can feel like life or death, like if you don't get out of here soon, something really bad's gonna happen, okay? 
it, it's not like that, man. It could, because you can, you, you have to, you can only do so much in a day. So if you are experiencing that, and you very well may be, because we're doing a lot of shifting, a lot of reorganizing in the earth plane right now, a lot of this light worker community, we're all kind of being rearranged around and put on our new path. And in the meantime, there's this downtime where you're stuck. But again, don't let it, don't let it freak you out because it can get a little freaky when you can start to perceive that the energetic incompatibility is creating actual physical problems. Like I explained in a recent video, I backed my car into a wall. You know, real shit like that can start to happen. But don't let it freak you out. That's, that's the whole point of this video. I'm, I'm kind of like beating the, beating the horse to death here. You understand what I'm saying. The point is, don't worry. Don't feel so stressed and pressured. You all, the, the way to feel better while presently stuck in a situation like this is to just take action to get yourself out of it. For, for me, what that means, because I, I, mean, I can't move on. We haven't sold the house yet. We can't sell the house. We're putting it on the market very soon. But what we have to do is clean up the house. We have to get, sell and get rid of a lot of our belongings and do some painting. So when I do those activities that are in harmony with the move, with the move out of this state, then I don't feel any of that energetic dissonance. But in the past, I would like, I would force things. I, I would, I would, out of like this, my own, my own, um, what do you call it? Conclusion based on, wow, I can tell I don't belong here. We need to get the hell out of here now. No, and I would call it, I would, I would leave prematurely, I would leave messes behind, and I would always create much more of a headache for myself than need be. You, you just, you can observe the feedback. Okay, I don't belong here, fine, moving on. Now what do I do? Let's be, now we'll be proactive. What do I do to get out of here? That's the question. And then start doing that, and you can feel good even as you climb out of it, okay? So that's the basic essence of this video. I won't go on any further because I think you guys got the point because I know, and I guess, especially in the beginning, man, it can feel like the whole world where you're at is just turning on you. And like that song from The Doors, people are strange when you're a stranger, faces look ugly when you're alone. It's kind of like that, man. You feel like you're, oh my God, man, shit. Like you're in like a nightmarish astral realm. Like Jesus Christ, I gotta get out of here, man. Um, but again, Okay, sometimes it takes some time. So that's all. Just chill, okay? So I hope that helps you guys if you find yourself in this situation or anything similar. And I will look forward to speaking to you guys next time. Have an amazing week. We'll be in touch. Namaste. Namaste.